Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and the wobbly boosters that you're looking at is my new Halok Explorer and you may be wondering and rightfully so Groundworks, where is the build episode? Well, I have decided to switch my strategy a little bit rather than first giving you the build episode and then you have to wait for some time for a fly episode I figured I'd do it a reverse First, I'm going to show you the, uh, the fly episode where the craft will be basically doing stuff, performing stuff, and this makes a lot more interesting content and then at some point I'm gonna be doing the build episode and you guys will get that at the link at the end of this uh, video and in the end screen so you will have a chance to actually take a look at it and especially those of you that actually watch the video all the way to the end because this episode of the build episode will be unlisted and it will be a bonus for you that all watch all the way to the end you will have a chance to actually see how it was built and I will of course publish it for the general public later on but I figured might as well reward my loyal viewers shouldn't I anyway I thought this would make a little bit more interesting dynamic because I had to do a lot of the build episodes and of course you find those interesting but you have no idea how it performs until like two weeks later or a week later so I thought it might be interesting that I switch it up and basically first show you the flight and then Bonus, how it was built. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. I would really love to hear what you think about it because I think this would make a lot more, you know, pacing in terms of uh, the series. We would be getting further, hopefully. All right, 1,000 meters of se meters per second, popping the fairing, and this is our... And you wonder, oh, Grumforks, you do have radiators. Why would you have radiators? Well, because this is a distant world's explorer, which will be going to Plock, which is one of the planets that is in the outer planets mod that I have. And uh, it has it because I have RTGs. I have two Tundra uh, RTGs on, despite the fact that I have also the solar panels. You see, I've never been to Plock, honestly. And uh, so this is a very exciting mission for me. And to be honest, I have no idea even if the solar panels this big are gonna produce enough electricity to withstand the science experiments and everything else running. So I figured, you know, I might as well, rather than that, just plug on to, pun intended, plug on the two intended uh, RTGs and then maybe, who knows, we'll have a chance to see all the science being performed. Okay, so we have a total of 3,546 meters per second. 2,623 we need actually to... <clears throat> as you can see, I can immediately put in the values, which gives us a rough encounter. And we will be gonna doing the burn. Yeah, we're gonna be doing Chromeforks, what the hell? What, yeah, what the hell is going with your English? Honestly, guys, it's been morning and I haven't had my coffee, so please don't judge me. You know that feeling when you start doing things and you haven't had your coffee? Oof. All right, and we have this beautiful cryogenic engine. I think it's uh, I think it's one of the near future ones. I'm not sure exactly. Look at it go. Beautiful, isn't it? So, this will do our ejection to plock and after which we will be doing a correction maneuver. I've actually jam-packed this little uh, satellite with science and it has one of the biggest relay antennas. Oh, sorry, this is not a relay. This is a direct antenna's longest range. It can do, I think, with the level 3 DSN which we have, it would be three, 700 gigameters. So it's basically good enough to get us out of the even Kerbal sphere of influence. All right. So, as you see, we don't have yet an encounter with Block, but we are right up there, as you can see, we are very close. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna correct the ascending node, and that's, a, and that's another whooping 1,518 meters per second, and I'm gonna just make it so close that we get an encounter. I need to do it on a finer scale, come on, and all right, I did it, anyway. So we have 1,519 meters per second to burn, and it's gonna happen in seven days. But before that, we say bye-bye to Kerbin, and thanks for everything, we'll never be seeing from us again. Okay, now that's slightly depressing. I'm just gonna position it nicely because I want to have a very cool screenshot for the episode, and I'm gonna extend my solar panels. 
There we go, look at them go. There are these gigantors, I love them to bits. All right, thank you, good enough. Uh, now we have seven days, okay, another screenshot opportunity. And let's enjoy while we get out of the Kerbin, Moon, and eventually Minmus. Beautiful. All right. So, that being said, we are closing in on our correction burn for a total of, grand total of 1519 meters per second. And then we shall be performing the correction, which will hopefully put us on a trajectory where we will be encountering Plock. No. All right. There we go. And as you can see, this is quite a long burn. I mean, thrust to weight is not stellar, it's 0 0.5, but then again, we are in vacuum, so we really don't care. We can do long burns, that's not really an issue. However, we might as well enjoy, look at this. All these solar panels and radiators. I mean, I, I put the radiators because I didn't know if I need to put the radiators when I have RTGs, but I did notice somewhere that they're generating heat. So I didn't want them to go, you know, into the core shutdown mode for any reason, like I have with my Dress craft. So I figured, you know, ground forks, put them out there. They're not hurting anybody. So, you know, all right, perfect. That being said, let's now just push it 500 meters per second to go. All right, 300 meters per second. Under meters per second, reducing the thrust a little bit so to get this as nice as possible. I'm gonna try to get it 0.0, .0 because block is so far away that it's worth really getting 0.0. .0. Okay, do we have an encounter with block? We do apparently. Beautiful. Okay, so now what I plan to do, I plan to put in uh, somewhere just before the encounter which is going to be in 39 years for crying out loud. Jesus. I'm going to put the alarm and uh, just to have basically, let me just first uh, rename this craft because I have it the distant explorer. I want to make sure that this is a Plock craft. So rename the vessel Plock Explorer Probe. There we go. Now let's put in this maneuver node. Okay, plo pro Plock Explorer. I don't need to do any maneuver nodes. It's just a matter of that we pay attention when we are close. It's just, just to stick it there on the Kerbal Alarm Clock. And with that being said, you know I guys not what to do. Boop the like button and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And here's the link.